Hey there everybody, this is John and uh, welcome back to another Gravity Ace devlog. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about my art process, uh, how I go about drawing, uh, you know, how I create art assets for the game basically. So what we're looking at here is a waypoint marker, it's placeholder art that I've had in the game for months and I'm trying to replace it with something more in this style. So this is a exit beacon that I drew that guides people out of the out, guides players out of the level. Uh, I wanted to do something more in that style. The placeholder art was getting, you know, it was starting to stand out because I'd basically I've, I've been polishing the art as I go and um, I polish the bits that I'm working on first, and then I start noticing other things that start to look out of place because they don't. They don't come up the same level of quality as the new art. And so then I just gradually have to go back and replace things, you know, as I notice them. So this one I'd been sitting on for a couple of months and today, today was the day. So what I'm trying to do here is, uh, well, you can see, first of all, I rotated it a bit. It's uh, 45 degrees. And I did that because I usually bake in things like, um, I want this thing to kind of be floating up and down. And I usually bake that sort of thing into the animation. So uh, what I usually do is I'll rotate it and then and then have it bobbing up and down. Uh, but as you can see, I'm struggling. I changed the angle a little bit. And I'm trying to draw these vertical lines to show it rotating around its axis. I'll use those as a reference point later. But I'm just not, I'm having a hard time getting it to look right, to feel right. So. You can see I'm just I'm just struggling here. So I, yeah, finally I just gave up um, erasing it. I drew it vertical just to make things easier. Uh, it's more symmetrical. And very quickly, using the other art as a reference guide, you can see I come up with something that I like. I like this. And at this point, I've decided, you know what? I'll just rotate it in the engine and have it bobbing up and down in the engine. It'll be fine. adding some blinking lights here, a little bit of glow. And then I export it, put it in the engine as quickly as I can, just so I can go back and forth. Um, what you're seeing here with the weird animation is because the old sprite sheet was, I think, six columns and two rows. And this one I exported as four columns and three rows. They're both 12 frames. I could have done it as a six by two, just like the old one, but I don't know, there's something I think I prefer having a more rectangular or, uh, you know, when the art, when the art fits the screen, when it's like the same shape as the screen, it's like easier to see, I guess. It's just preference. There's no reason I did it that way, really. So here I'm adding some more uh, blue, like, lights that are going to kind of move across the surface of this thing and adding some glows for those now. The glows are pretty simple. I just, you know, attack it with the same color, um, but with the opacity turned way down, and then I blur them. Pretty easy. So at this point here, what I'm trying to do is, this is like a waypoint marker, right? It's trying to, it's trying to guide you, guide the player to it. So I wanted to draw some kind of like radio signals coming off of it. And again, struggling a little bit, just trying to find something that looks good. Just going through lots of different options. And it's fine. I'm, you know, you have to, for me, it took me a long time to learn how to, uh, if something wasn't working, just to delete it and draw it again. Uh, there's something about deleting something that I've worked on for a while that was difficult to do. Uh, but it's just easier for me uh, to, if something's not working, I just erase it and start again. Um, and even if I'm redrawing most of the same thing, uh, it ends up better the second time. It, you know, redrawing something has never been the thing that slows me down. I usually either, it usually either leads to some kind of happy accident or something turns out better uh, than it did the first time. As you see, I keep going back and forth between the engine and the game. Once, you, once you've once you got it set up and imported into Godot, uh, and you've settled on a frame count, 
and um, you know the export format, then going back and forth between a sprite and Godot is super easy. You just hit Control E, hit Enter, it exports it. Flip over to Godot, Godot automatically imports it. You can see the new art instantly. And I like to go back and forth so I can see it in the engine. Seeing it in the engine is, you know, just sort of a sanity check, but also because in this particular case, I've got the rotation on it. Um, I'm animating the floating up and down animation in Godot. And then also you can see it in the game, obviously. Yeah, so here's my first run through in the game. The stuff I'm doing with the code here was I was trying to figure out a way to make it look good when you activate it. So when you when you enter the area of effect of it, uh, the old one just disappeared. And I'm trying to come up with something, uh, some sound effect or something. Uh, and then this guy, this is an arrow that I had from, a, you know, another, basically it's just other art that I created. I created these arrows to highlight certain important features. So I'm just adding that scene to this. And that's pretty much it. I had to sit on the placeholder art for a while, but then, you know, just spending a little bit of time refining it, using my existing art as a reference, finally got it someplace that I'm happy with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.